down six. Ali's in dominating form here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Good job on the two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Move your head! comes crashing home. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Now, he's supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Body shot, the right hand came home. Yeah, that's it. Muhammad Ali is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Ten seconds to go in this round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He's losing this fight, and I think it's easy to see why. He's getting hit by that left hand far too much. Well, the most elementary thing, the first thing you're taught in boxing is use your left hand. The second thing, get away from it. I guess you never learned that second thing. Start of round number eight right here. Teddy, this is very much a one-sided fight. Maybe the opponent's best chance is to go back to history. Lamada and Dolteo. Lamada was so far behind going into the last round that he had no shot except by a knockout. And what he did was he played possible a little bit, took his legs a little bit, went back towards the rope, and he got those kill to come in, get a little careless, bang, he pulled it out. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Nice work, nice work. He scored well after being hit himself. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Ali is giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is starting to take away some of that head movement. Come on! Come on Another strong round of accurate precision punching from him. Well, it's easy to be accurate when your opponent walks out there and says, please hit me. I mean, he's like putting a sign on himself. Here's the red target. Right on the mark, double jab.
up. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Solid jab by Muhammad Ali. Halfway through the ninth round. Ali's had success so far, just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some concern. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with a real fast car. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit. Right now, his opponent needs to change that landscape. Don't give him that racetrack. Step out of range a little bit and leave him there. Let him shadow box. But don't stay in a position where he could be effective. by Muhammad Ali. Well, that's yet another round that he won, and Teddy, he's a great okay. what, what were you hearing out of his training camp as to how he got so conditioned? Well, we were hearing that he was doing his low work, wearing knapsacks for 20 pounds of sand, running uphill. I mean, that's one of Also, instead of taking a bit of rest and sparring, he was taking 20 seconds, 30 second rest. It's showing right now. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. He's working the jab. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Commits to the straight right. To the head he goes with the left hand. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Halfway through round 10. Good defensive skill. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder. What is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you can do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these dark punches. He needs to be on the inside.
beautiful jab left hand. You're still not moving it out. He is not in good shape. He could be on the What a big shot. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this way instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Fires right back at him. Ali's employing a strategy that works really well for him. He's staying outside, he's utilizing that jab, and he's scoring what he can. Yeah, he's recognizing the deficiencies of his opponent. He's got a slow, plodding guy in front of him who's a little flat-footed, and he's doing, as you said, exactly what he should be doing. Model, my mentor used to talk about. He used to say, Teddy, when you got two tough guys, but well, one's a little smarter, well, then he becomes twice as tough. Big shot there. That was a big shot at Florida, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox, his sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. <laughs> 